Good morning, and welcome to your daily camera news update. I'm your host, and I'm here to keep you informed about the latest local news stories that are making headlines. So, let's get started. First up, we have an update on Boulder's COVID-19 vaccination efforts. With the current surge in cases due to the Omicron variant, the city is ramping up its efforts to vaccinate as many people as possible. The vaccination sites are open seven days a week and walk. And walk-ins are welcome. If you haven't gotten your booster shot yet, now is the time. Moving on to our second story, the Boulder Valley School District has decided to switch to remote learning for two weeks due to the high number of COVID-19 cases among students and staff. The district hopes this will help slow the spread of the virus and keep students and staff safe. If you're a parent or student in the district, be sure to check with your school for the latest updates on the remote learning schedule. In other news, the city of Boulder has approved a plan to build a new fire station in the northeastern part of the city. The new station will help improve response times and coverage in that area, which has seen significant growth in recent years. Construction is set to begin later this year, with the station expected to open in 2024. Next, we have some exciting news from the Boulder Ballet. The company is celebrating the works of five female choreographers in their show New Moves. The performances feature a diverse group of internationally acclaimed choreographers and will be held at the Dairy Arts Center from February 24, 24, 26. If you're a fan of dance, this is a show you won't want to miss. And finally, the University of Colorado Board of Regents has unanimously voted to approve the renaming of Q Boulder's Fleming Building to honor the contributions of former faculty members Avelia, Maramonts, and Leonard Baca. The School of Education formed a committee with alumni, faculty, staff, and students that reviewed more than 40 nominations for renaming the building. The renaming is effective immediately, but the school hopes to do a ceremony in the fall 2020, three semester to officially celebrate the renaming of the building. And there you have it, folks, your Daily Camera news update. Remember to visit Daily Camera. Come for more in-depth coverage of these and other local news stories. We'll be back tomorrow with more updates on the latest happenings in the Boulder area. Thank you for tuning in and have a great day.